If you've ever taken a yoga class, you've no doubt heard your yoga teacher talk ad nauseum about breathing, right? They tell you to breathe through your nose, to breathe deeply, to breathe slowly, and to make that weird Darth Vader sound in the back of your throat. But have you ever wondered why and how slowly and how deeply, what does all of it mean? Hey, my name's Lucas. I'm a science-based yoga teacher. In this short video, I'll walk you through the how and the why of yoga breathing, and then I'll show you how to use it in your own practice. Before we get into that, it's important to understand that yoga classes without yoga breathing, they're really just stretching or remedial gymnastics. They're interesting, but not nearly as interesting, not nearly as powerful as a 60 or a 90 minute nervous system training practice, which what yoga is really designed to be. Let's start off with the nose breathing. Why do we breathe through our nose? There's an axiom that's helpful to remember. The nose is for breathing, the mouth is for eating. And in yoga, this mostly holds true. The first reason plays right into what I spoke about a moment ago is your nervous system. Let's say you're in a stressful pose, like a triangle pose. Your tendency, your natural tendency would be to <sighs> breathe through your mouth. When you instead breathe through your nose, it tells your nervous system that you're cool, calm, and collected. It downregulates your stress response and it upregulates your parasympathetic rest and digest response. In this way, you have this juxtaposition of stress and relax, and you're training your nervous system pose by pose, breath by breath. The next thing that your nose does is pretty functional, just pretty practical. It filters the air, so particulates and allergens and even dust and things that might be around. It helps to humidify and control the temperature of the air, like if you've ever been outside on a cold winter day and you have to breathe in through your mouth, it kind of hurts your lungs. If you've ever been in a sauna, and you breathe in that hot air, breathing in through your mouth, it really hurts your lungs as well. Your nose acts as a buffer for moisture and for temperature control. Another thing that breathing through your nose does, which a lot of people don't realize, is in your paranasal sinuses, you release something called nitric oxide, NO. Nitric oxide is a vasodilator. It's great for your circulatory system, great for your heart, and it relaxes your body. You can only get that if you breathe through your nose. The last reason that we breathe through our nose specifically is that little bit of extra friction that you get breathing through your nose. It gives you more control, more efficiency in your breath. Okay, so now we know why we breathe through our nose. Why do we breathe deeply and what does that mean? Right now you're breathing about 500 milliliters per breath, inhale, exhale. When we do yoga breathing, we double that. So you might be breathing as much as a liter per inhale, per exhale. Why do we want to breathe so much more deeply? We want to breathe deeper because we're breathing slower. How much slower? Well, right now you're breathing, let's say 12 to 15 breaths per minute. In a yoga class, we'll slow that way, way down to about five or six breaths per minute. But remember, we doubled the volume. So even though you're breathing more slowly, your air exchange is the same. So you're not stressing your body in any way. So why would we do all this? Why would we breathe so much deeper? Why would we breathe so much slower? It comes right back to our nervous system. We're putting our body in a stressful pose. Maybe it's a side angle pose. Maybe it's an arm balance, like a crow pose. And then you're breathing through your nose. You're breathing deeply. You're breathing slowly. You're telling your body you're cool, calm, and collected when clearly you're not. And then you get this really tremendous nervous system training benefit where you're teaching your body how to manage stress in a much, much more adaptive rather than reactive way. The last thing that we need to chat about is that weird Darth Vader sound. In yoga, we call this ujjayi breathing. In Sanskrit, ujjayi means victorious breathing. And the way that you do that is in the back of your throat, there's something called your glottis and you close off your glottis to create that whisper sound, that ocean sound, that Darth Vader sound. And there's two main reasons that we do this. The first reason really comes down to control. Imagine you have a, a garden hose and there's no nozzle on it. The water just kind of goes everywhere. But then you take a, a nozzle and you screw it on. Suddenly you can control the flow of water. The first reason we close off our glottis ever so slightly is for control. The second reason, and most people don't realize this, when you close off your glottis just a little bit and you create that whisper sound, that Darth Vader sound, it oscillates or vibrates your vagus nerve in the same way that humming or singing or chanting does. And that again has a calming effect on your nervous system. If you see a recurring theme here, you are correct. 
Our goal in a yoga class is to put our body in stressful situations physically and then breathe through our nose deeply. We want to breathe slowly and with that whisper sound so everything we're doing with our breath emphasizes cool, calm, and collected, a parasympathetic nervous system response. So now that you understand how and why we breathe, let's actually practice it so you can feel it in your body. It's important that we start off with the glottis, with that ujjayi ocean sound, because that's the trickiest one to master at first. To learn how to feel it, it's helpful to break the first rule and open your mouth. So imagine you have a mirror in front of you with your hand, and let's fog up the mirror. <sighs> Try it with me. Fog up the mirror. <sighs> now this is a little weird. But do it the opposite. Inhale, so unfog the mirror. Great, now fog up the mirror. Now inhale. Do you see that feeling in the back of your throat? That's your glottis. Number one, it gives us control. Number two, it's oscillating, vibrating our vagus nerve. Now close your mouth, breathe through your nose, and try to make that same feeling in the back of your throat. Not here, not in the top of your nose, but in the back of your throat. Let's breathe a lot more slowly. See if we can do it together. Good. So that, in a nutshell, is yoga breathing. Through your nose, deeply, about one liter of volume of air per breath. We breathe slowly. We breathe about five to six breaths per minute. We make that whisper sounding in the back of our throat. To finish things off, let's try this in a pose so you can see what it actually feels like. Extend your right leg and flex your right toes towards your face. Let's lift up and fold out over your leg. You could put your hands on your knee or on your shin, or you can even wrap your hands around your foot. You stay where you are. And now let's breathe together through our nose, whisper sound in the back of our throat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Good, and release all the way back up. And there you have it. Yoga breathing is nose breathing. Yoga breathing is deep breathing, about twice as deep, about one liter per breath. Yoga breathing is slow breathing. We're breathing about five breaths per minute. And lastly, yoga breathing has that ujjayi, that ocean sound, that whisper sound in the back of your throat. If you found this video helpful and you want more science-based yoga content, please subscribe. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to post them down below.